Hey guys, I'm uh, going to show doing a service and manifold. Um, this is a manifold. I'm not sure what it's for, but it's a four cylinder gas turbo something for one of our customers. Um, you guys wanted to see some more of the stuff that we were doing. Um, so the manifold has a twist in it. The only thing with doing this type of stuff is that the way that I have to clamp it down, you do twist it a little bit, but I literally have these clamps just tight enough to hold everything up. Um, but you'll see going across there. But after we surface it, as long as they bolt it tight, everything will be fine. Um, but it does, you will get a little bit of a wonkiness to it when you unbolt it from here, but it is what it is, how much you can do. Um, and you know, if you were doing these all the time, you would make a special jig for doing it. Um, but we constantly are doing different manifolds, so you don't do that. So I just have a carbide um, four tooth cutter on here, which is like a big end mill um, and lubricate with WD-40. And we're gonna cut across here. It is a stainless manifold, so you need to use something. I like WD-40 for stainless myself. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna throw in a time lapse. We'll buzz this thing off, and I'll come back to you guys at the end of the at the end, unless we have a problem. Then I'll come back. All right, guys. So I got this thing all surfaced off here now. I don't have a rag in my pocket. Oh no, I do. I just I got to deburr it still, but that's what I ended up doing. I ended up pulling that end mill out and just putting what I classify as a fly cutter in there. I did have to stop once and flip the cutter because I took the edge off the cutter. That's one thing with stainless is it's a pain to machine, um, but you know it is what it is. You just got to go slow, have lube, you know everything, so it works okay. So. Basically, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a... A deburring tool and just go in the holes, deburr them off. And there's actually a different one, but this just happened to be the one that was right there. But And then I'll run a deburring tool around this edge and that'll have that all finished off. But anyways, that's so in the throw in the process. I would say um, I'm about after I got it jigged. Um, I'm about close to an hour machining it off because you can't go very you can't go real aggressive on this. If I could put it on the surface, or you could go a little bit more aggressive, but just the way the manifold set up, you can't do that. Wow, well, you could if you made a jig for it, but make a jig for one manifold doesn't make sense. But anyways, um, that is that's what it is. Uh, this one's uh, just showing surface in one, a manifold. I'll show a few, maybe a few different ones over the course of the next while. But anyways, like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments and uh, check out my Patreon. And I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Catch you on the next one.